In this video, you will learn how to add a scheduled path to a record triggered flow in Salesforce and why it can be important to add this time delay. My name is Randy and I'm from Chargent. If you're a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you're in the right place. Before we dive into building our flow, it's important to understand a little bit about the Salesforce order of execution and what it means when creating record triggered flows. When creating record triggered flows, you have the option of executing before or after the record is saved. This decision is your input into the order of execution. Today, we will be using the after save option. Wasn't that easy? The record saves and we let our flow do its thing. Uh, not so fast. While the record is saved, it's not yet committed to the database. And in the event any error occurs, Salesforce will roll back changes already made and abort the operation. Some examples of items that are in the order of execution for Salesforce that cause errors are validation rules, user security issues, or any number of things. Anytime one of these errors occurs, records will not be committed to the database. This is where a scheduled path can help. On the topic of being helpful, we've made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the description below and download the checklist today. For today's example, let's create a record triggered flow on Chargent Transactions object that updates the stage on the opportunity when the payment is made. It's important to note that Chargent can be configured to work on any object. Here it's configured to work on the opportunity object. Head over to Salesforce Setup and search for flow in the quick find box. Click flows and then click the new flow button to get started. Let's select record triggered flow and use the auto layout. On the Configure Start page, select the Chargent Transaction object and configure it to trigger when a record is created. You'll likely want to set some entry conditions like when the transaction is approved or when the amount is paid in full. We're going to skip this step and focus on creating our scheduled path. In the Optimize the Flow section, choose Actions and Related Records and click Done. The default path is to run immediately. We want to add the optional scheduled path. We can give the path any label or API name we wish. Let's call the path zero hour delay and click tab to populate the API name. For the time source, let's select when the transaction is created with an offset number of zero and offset option of hours after. Click done and our new path appears. Using a zero hour delay will typically execute about one to two minutes after the record is committed to the database. Let's add an element to the new scheduled path. Click the plus sign and select update records. Let's label it update opportunity stage and then tab to populate the API name. Now select specify conditions to identify records and set fields individually, radio button. For the object, select opportunity. We only want the opportunity related to our charge and transaction, so let's add our filter criteria. Here we want to add the field opportunity ID to the equal the opportunity ID from the charge and orders opportunity lookup field. To find it, select the record from the global variables section, then select the related charge and order and related opportunity, and finally the opportunity ID. With the filter criteria set, let's set the field values for the opportunity record. Select stage name for the field and close one for the value and click done. Now let's save and activate our flow and see it in action. That's it. The flow starts when the transaction record is created, but the scheduled path doesn't run until after the record is committed to the database. If a validation rule prevented the opportunity from updating, the transaction record is already present. And while the opportunity won't update properly, we don't lose the data showing that the customer paid, which is arguably more important. And now check out this next video where you'll learn more about payments in Salesforce. My name is Randy and I'm from Chargent, where we're dedicated to helping you make Salesforce payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.